a look at the weather. Hey, Carson. Hey, Corinne. I always like when you're in this little box. Yeah, I, I do like, too. Yeah, I do know. too. I can make funny faces yeah, right, yeah, behind right behind you me. and nobody notices. Yeah, no so, one knows. I mean, obviously, right? yeah. <laughs> All right, how's the weather looking? Uh, yes, the important part of my job, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Okay. Oh, yeah. let's talk about the weather. I mean, we do have a cold front that is starting to move into the area and this is slowly trekking its way to the east, but I promise you, you're definitely going to feel it here probably within the next hour or two if you live in Tyler westward, probably three or four hours if you live in deep east Texas. This is what we're talking about right now. It's certainly there. I mean, we've got about an eight degree temperature difference between DFW Airport, which is well out to our west, a couple hours out to our west, and then Tyler Pounds Airport, which is at 81 degrees here. But look at this, all this cool air being filtered in to west Texas, 50s, 60s. It feels like fall out there, folks, and it will feel like fall for us as we go into tonight. Now let's get a little closer look at what we are seeing as far as these temperatures go. There's the front right there off to the northwest. Temperatures are in the 70s behind the front and 80s in front of the front. You can see we've got more sunshine, but right along the front, you're going to notice things clouding up. I can already see that on our Tyler Tower cam. So the frontal passage is imminent, so it's probably going to get windier. It's probably also going to get cooler here in the not too distant future. But nonetheless, front rolls through the area by about noontime today by three o'clock. We are dealing with a couple of bubble up showers and thunderstorms. So if you live in our eastern counties, I want you to have that umbrella handy just in case you do see a shower and a shower will be welcome because we do need the rain and it gets out of here by the time you get home from work tonight or you're heading out to one of those Friday football games. Speaking of which by seven o'clock temperatures are in the 60s and 70s down into the 50s by early tomorrow morning. So if you're heading out to the Rose Parade, you might want to consider that jacket because we're not used to this yet. We will get used to it a little later on in the year, but we have not seen those temperatures. And then look at tomorrow afternoon. We are sunny. We are dry. Temperatures are going to be in the 70s, so all in all, it's going to be a pretty nice day. Starting out in the 40s Sunday morning at 7 o'clock in the morning, and then by 6, 7 o'clock in the afternoon, temperatures again in the 60s. So today, we hit 84 degrees, about a 20% chance of that slight shower. Again, generally confined to our eastern counties, that's the best chance of a stray shower or storm. We're all the way down to 50 degrees tonight. So. I mentioned if you're heading out to those football games, not only remember those jackets and blankets, maybe an extra couple of bucks for some of that hot chocolate because we're going to be in the 60s and windy for the Friday football fever game of the week as Texas High takes on Pine Tree. That kicks off in Longview at 730. Another big game as Tyler High takes on Wiley East. Of course, that is at the Rose Stadium in Tyler. Temperatures in the 60s for that one. Quick check on tomorrow's Rose Parade forecast. We are in the 50s at 9 o'clock. 60s return by 10 and 11. So all in all, it's going to be sunny. You're not going to need to remember those umbrellas, but you might want to consider that jacket again in case you're waiting outside for all those parade floats to come through because it's a long parade, it's a great parade, and it could be a chilly parade tomorrow. 70s Saturday, Sunday and Monday, 80s return Tuesday and Wednesday. Another front possible by next Thursday. Deep East Texas, we hit 90 degrees today, then the front blows through. Those warmer temperatures, they go away for a while with 70s expected this weekend. For the latest weather forecast, you can head on over to KETK.com. Thank you very much, Carson, for that.